Good everyone, I'm going to video. Today we have a sub request by Gottlieb Gamer. I'm probably butchering that because it sounds German. The German and British accent clashed, let's put it that way. The last time I like spoke with someone German, our accents bloody clashed. Like she didn't understand some of the slang and things like that that I came out with, but still. Anyway, so the J1N1 was requested by Gottlieb because Bertie unfortunately beat him to the punch on the Kai 108, which is going to be coming eventually anyway, because, well, I've been given the Sunderland, which is already done and recorded, I've done the Kai 108, and I just have this thing left to do. I decided to do the, well, those two a little bit differently to how I normally do sub requests, obviously, with, um... Obviously, live comms, not really like commentating, just like being myself in a battle. That was the 108 that I did that for. The Sunderland has live comms with a fellow subscriber, and this one is just going to be me. Well, me being actual commentary Joe, and not like an alternate universe Joe, where he just discusses to himself. I, I talk to myself a lot, but... um yeah, this is going to be commentary, Joe. But like, I, I swear I have that many, like, alter egos in, in terms of, well, alter personalities um, when it comes to, like, commentating on YouTube. It's it's just one of those things I like to do. But I haven't flown this thing in a number of years, and to be brutally honest, I was quite excited when I got it because I thought, well, it's been a while since I've played this thing. Let's see what it can do. So, should we go find out? I think we should. So yeah, as I was saying about like um, alternate personalities and things like that, I like I like to have a good bit of like character range in my commentary and things like that. As I said, the thumbnails have more character than what they used to. Um, like you get dad jokes, you get poor sense of humor in general, and you obviously get your aircraft knowledge and everything like that. You get your tank knowledge, you get your reviews, everything like that. It's it's different. It's just different depending on the video, to be brutally honest. And sometimes, like, I just like to do a good mix of everything because then it just gives you an idea of the amount of different things I can, like, do and things like that. That's probably a really weird way of putting it, but, you know. just It just, like, it gives you an idea of, like, what I offer, so to speak. Like, I offer dad jokes, I offer good advice, sometimes bad advice according to some people. I offer premium reviews, I offer subscriber requests, I offer all sorts. And sometimes you just have to, like, have a little bit of character in, um, in general. Like, you've got to have a good mix of everything. Like, you've got to have a good sense of humor, you've got to have a good different range of doing, like, commentary and things like that. It's just fun to, like, do that sort of thing. So, we are at 3-0, it would seem. Yeah, I hope that, like, explains a little bit more, because, like, I don't really get to, like, tell you what sort of, like, um, like, what I normally do in my videos anyway. Normally, people just think, oh, it's just Joe being Joe. The actuality is, is that it depends on the video. Like, if... If it's a premium review, I'm being quite serious, because obviously that's something you spend money on. If it's something like a sub request, I'd normally tend to just fuck around and just have a bit of fun. That's really what I do. And sometimes I just like to add a little bit of a twist to some videos. Like, as I said, the Sunderland is getting live comms. The Kai 108 is getting... Well, it's obviously going to be me, but it's only me in that gameplay. But, oh, team kill. Um, but pretty much, it's just something that adds a bit of variety to the, to the videos, so to speak, and I'm, I'm sure you guys appreciate that. So, we need to now keep an eye out for enemy aircraft, because obviously we do get an air spawn. But, yeah, this thing's climb rate isn't exactly stellar. Like, it's okay for a 2 aircraft, but it's not exactly outstanding. So let's have a quick look at that team killer. Level 26. A few premiums. What do I use team killer then? Oh, he's just being a dick. Okay. Well, I take it the enemy team won't be covering his ass, so you never know. We might get a nice easy kill on the Chiker later. 
So, I don't see any dots for the moment, but we're not too far into... I say that right as a fucking dot appears. That's why you put it on your best crew, level 51. Yak 4. But yeah, this, this is commentary Joe speaking here. I, I take this inspiration off of a couple of YouTubers, because like, they always like add a bit of spice to their videos. Like They always like do different like jokes and like the way they present things. There's one YouTuber I follow in the Yu-Gi-Oh community called Kali X Effect, I think it is. And he has like different alter egos for different videos that he's doing and it's it's quite funny. Like he, he has all sorts of different varieties and there's even like an he has like an old man version of himself. Which uh, some people like Shadow thinks I'm old. I'm only twenty two, Shadow. But, you know. So he will come for a head on. He does have a he does have a gun, but I don't really want to take a head on with him. That's why I kind of like was hesitant there and didn't get any cannon hits. But we will go for Harry's favourite bomber, the dumpster burn. It's not his favourite bomber, but I like to annoy him with that. There we go. Well, at least he goes got his bombs off. I didn't, like, aim to kill straight away. And, well, Gottlieb asked me to do that, so there you go. I used the rear gunner. Which, on this thing, is actually quite strong. You're probably wondering why I'm using the APT belts. That's because this actually has a little bit of a trick to it, and I want to see if you guys agree with me in the comments. So the reason why I run APT on this plane specifically is because I want the enemy player to have a bit of, shall we say, a bit of a panic because they might think there's more bullet or more guns shooting at them than what there actually is. So they may see only like one or two guns firing, depending on if a turret's been disabled or not. But they may think, hmm, I don't really want to go near that. That thing looks like it's got eight guns out the back. So it's it's kind of like a like a bluff, so to speak, and it works pretty well. And obviously against bombers, they tend to react more, which is quite interesting. So we're going to go for this SU-2 next. Just watching that MiG. Come here, son. That's the M82 model. Oh, no, it's not. It's a TSS. Okay. I thought it was an M82 because of the colour on the wings, but... Still. Nice crit. Let's keep the speed on. And go for the I-16. You're not going to outrun me in a dive, son. That I can promise you. Oh, you son of a bitch. Get here, you nimble little bastard. Yep, I need some backup here, teammate. Thank you very much. Yeah, this thing's relatively maneuverable for its size, but obviously we're only down to the 7.7s here. Do fast, the enemy will win. That was horrible, but to be fair, I didn't use these 7.7s in the back when trying to get, like, off shots like that. I need to get lower so I can't be shot by him. Well, I can be shot by him, but I can actually get the fucking gunner on target. Yeah, obviously, he's obviously panicking anyway, but, like, it's just the fact that if he came towards me properly, he'd be panicking even more because he'd think there's more guns shooting at them than what there actually is. It's quite a good way to bluff players, to be brutally honest. Give it a try if you haven't. Kill assist on the I-16. Team kill, because people shoot for each other these days. See if we can't get a shot on the I-16 with our 277s. Looks like he's got rockets or something underneath. Oh my god, that that looks horrible, Gaijin. Come on. Critical hits. And pilot snipe. Beautiful. Nice bit of work. That's three kills. I'm going to take out this fucking flat gun before it blows him out the friggin' sky in one shot. There we go. Still got the bombs left, but they're 
Japanese fart bombs, so don't expect much from these. Probably just gonna ditch them now, to be honest. I'll like a grand target summer. So we've got four enemy planes left. Oh god, that was close. Yep, and there you go the bombs. They do they do drop as a pair, just bear that in mind. But they're Japanese fart bombs, they're not gonna do a lot. They'll do something, but when I say don't do a lot, you literally have to get a direct hit on target. And with bombs that small, it's not easy. Okay, he's being dealt with, that's fine. Let's regain some altitude. But yeah, like I said, because I play Yu Gi Oh, there's that one YouTuber that I mentioned earlier. Oh, there goes a P40F, that's four kills. Um, and he has like different alter egos depending on his videos. It's it's quite funny, like, and I appreciate that sort of thing because like it it gives more character to your channel, in a way. Like obviously I'm I'm just fucking around. I'm not really like playing this thing full try hard because I don't need to. I'm just playing it how it should be played. But yeah, honestly that's that's one thing. If like if anyone in the comments ever like starts a YouTube channel. Just be yourself, like have fun, have serious moments, but then also just fuck around. It's it's honestly one of the best things you can do. So we got this P40F here. We're not gonna be able to pitch up for him, but there is one thing we can do if he's not paying attention, which I don't think he is. How high can the guns go up? About 60 degrees, I'd say. Do not try this at home. I'd just like to state that now. So how far are we away from getting guns on him? Quite a ways away. But we accelerate a bit better than him. Yeah, we're still a ways off. Let's see if I can pitch up for him. Maybe put some shots towards him, that might get him the shift. Got some hits. That's gotten him to move, that's the ticket. How did he not notice me until now? I don't bloody know, but... Okay, the fight's on. He will have the energy advantage. But I should be able to get a shot here that should cripple him at least. Nice crit. We've now stalled. It's quite a violent stall in this thing. Obviously now he's going to get shots on us. I'm surprised he's still getting guns on to be honest. Let's see if we can reverse him here. He's still combat viable so teammates come in to support. This thing could also take a bit of a beating if it has to. He's also got bombs on, I just saw that. If you've got a shot, mate, take it. He's only got a whole lot of ammo left. 32 MG left. Got something else coming in now, Chaika. It's funny, because I was speaking about the Chaika at the start of this match, and here he comes now to ruin the fun. I ain't got a lot of ammo left, so I'm probably just going to have to ram the bastard. Hello. That'll do. But will he burn down for the ace? And the answer is... I said the answer is... There we go, that's the ace. Let's return to the hangar. And he even said awesome right as I was leaving the match. But yeah, if that doesn't show what this plane can do, even when you're just fucking around, it's a lot of fun. Obviously, we did have to play a little bit strategic towards the end there, and obviously I didn't have a lot of ammunition left. But this thing does have some fun characteristics. 
But yeah, let me know what kind of video style you prefer. Do you just prefer the normal, like this? Do you prefer live comms, like the Sunderland? Or do you just prefer it where um, the hangar and the gameplay section are, s are separated? Just let me know, and that way it can give me an idea of what comes up on the, shall we say, the future sub-requests. Just let me know how you prefer the sub-requests to be done, pretty much. But anyway, I'm going to hand you off to do whatever you need to do next in your day, and I will see you all on the next one.